Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Welcome to lesson four, extreme language. In this lesson, we will look at the Medic Mind technique of extreme language. We as a team have researched the UK cat for several years and have sat it every year just to keep up to date. And a common trend that we have spotted in verbal reasoning is that the language of the statement can give you a huge hint towards the answer. In questions, you might see either mild phrases or extreme phrases. If you see a mild phrase, it's more likely that the answer is true. So examples are might, could, sometimes, one of the biggest, one of the best. If you see an extreme phrase, it is more likely that the statement is false or can't tell. Examples are will always, definitely, every time, biggest, best. A lot has to happen for this situation to hold true. Of course, the answer is not necessarily true for mild phrases and false or can't tell for extreme phrases, but from our vast UK cat experience, most verbal reasoning sets follow this. And of course, they can also be neutral phrases where the rule is more difficult to apply. But in general, if you look at the wording of the statement, you can use this tip to guide you towards an answer, or at the very least, give you a hint to supplement the information that you find in the passage. Here's an example of an extreme phrase. And this is an official statement from one of the past UK cat questions. Seeing a product used in a popular television program will always increase demand for the product. Here, the term will always is very definitive and extreme. So the answer is more likely to be can't tell or false. For this to be true, even thinking from a logical sense point of view, every single product which has been used in every single TV program or over all of history has to have led to an increase in demand. This is very unlikely to be true, even just from using common sense, and we can see how difficult it is for extreme phrases to be true. If the statement said might or sometimes, then the answer is much more likely to be true. Here's another example. Nike running shoes are the best shoes in the sports market. Best is again extreme language. If the statement said they are one of the best, is less extreme and more likely to be true. If you remember from the tutorial on in inferences, which was lesson three, we looked at the example of UCL. One statement said UCL is one of the best medical schools, which was true. And the other statement said UCL is the best medical school, which was can't tell. And extreme language is a huge factor when considering whether you can make an inference to make something true or whether it's too big an assumption and something that we can't tell. So let's have a go at a practice passage to finish the lesson. This passage is about sports in UK schools. And as with all questions, I'll, I'll have 10 seconds for you to answer it. But we would advise that you pause the video to have a go at it yourself. The answer for this question is C, can't tell. So the statement says two hours of PE are no longer done at any UK school. Well, a good key word here would be PE because it's got a capitalized letter and therefore should be easy to find in the passage. Remember, we still haven't gone through the keyword approach, which we'll look at in tutorial five. Before these questions, the best way to approach them is looking for a keyword in the statement and then finding it in the passage and reading around the keyword. But we'll come, go into this in much more detail in tutorial five. So we find PE in the final paragraph where it says that the government has ended recommendation for two hours of PE in schools each week. We know that the recommendation for two hours of PE has been ended but this does not necessarily mean that no schools have two hour sessions. The statement has used extreme language because it says PE is no longer done at any UK school. If just one UK school 
had a two hour lesson, then the statement can't apply. And therefore, the answer is can't tell. So in the exam, if you see the statement, I want you to be on alert for extreme language. You can see that extreme language is used, but don't just choose can't tell and move on. Instead, carry on with the question and tackle it step by step using the keyword approach. But if you think the answer is true, think carefully and check twice because extreme language has been used. So that should hint you towards either false or can't tell. So you see how we're using the technique not to guess the answer, but to supplement the other techniques that we're following. Let's have a go at a different example based on the same passage. Michael Gove has some control over sports in schools. True, false, can't tell. I'll wait 10 seconds to reveal the answer. The answer here is A, true. So remember, step one, look for a key word. A great key word here would be Michael Gove because it's a capitalized letter. And you wanna notice that this statement has mild language. It says that he has some control, not full control, some control. So it's very mild and therefore we're hinting that it could be true. We find Michael Gove in the second paragraph and it says that he's expected to announce a new strategy for school sport later this month. Because he is releasing a strategy, it's feasible to infer that he has some control at least, if not full control. He might have full control, but we don't know that. So if the statement says he had full control and used extreme language, the answer would be can't tell. Thank you for watching this free Medic Mind tutorial. For £30, you can unlock all 150 tutorials in our online course. The course covers four full days of UK CAT teaching, as well as a course to help you with your personal statement and interview. You're free to ask as many questions as you'd like to our teachers, and with each tutorial, you can read along using our five UK CAT ebooks covering 500 pages of theory and questions to guide you every step of the way.